Hey yeah, I've got another dial combination padlock here and this one is a Brinks so it talks about 2400 pounds cut resistance 600 pounds pull resistant hmm let's see it's a about a 7mm shackle I've uh, picked this one before, I forget what the combination is. So it's got the keystone pattern here at the top, but no white circle around, like when you see one of the other cheap padlocks like this. It has the white circle around the dial, as well as the keystone. This has the keystone symbol, it's a little bit flatter, but no white circle. And I'll turn it several times to the right. Start at zero, apply tension. I like to apply strong tension to start with, or medium strong, just uh, because if it works, it's easier to decode than light tension. Okay, so this, see, see what happens. Yep, this is one of the ones that clicks into every number, so it's more similar to a master lock than a than one of those cheap ones, because clicks into every should I say every number, every two or three numbers. So what I like to do is, like if I start at zero and I, I go, say, um, let, let's turn it several times to the right actually. Start at zero. Okay, so the first number after zero is between two and three. And that's about one, one number of distance uh, of play it or tension on the shackle it doesn't want to come out of there between numbers two and three okay next one clicks into five and six about that's about one number of play release tension turn it tension a bit and it clicks into the next one so that's hmm, okay so that's about Eight, eight and a half to nine and a half, so that's about one number of play again. So I'm just going to keep doing this. One number of play. Okay, this is a massive number of play. 15 to 17 nearly. That's uh, that's a bigger amount of play, and it feels really loose. So loose it, make, it clicks either side. Even with lots of tension, it still feels loose, and it clicks either side. And all the other ones... I'm sure it's just going to be about the one number of play. I'm going to check that. Yeah, um, what did I say it was? Around, around about the 16. So 16 is our last number. Can we find the first number? Remember with the master locks, when we turn it several times this way and we pull up on the shackle, and we're turning it and we increase the tension until we can feel it stick but only stick on one number if it sticks on more than one number it means i've raised tension too much okay so sort of sticking on um sort of bumping against several numbers Maybe 14. 14 is the strongest. It's not that obvious with this lock. I'm going to start with 14. And I'm going to turn it one full revolution past 14. I'm going to increase tension. Okay, that's our last number. I'm going to turn it beyond the last number. And then I'm just going to see which one works so i'm gonna go um i'm sort of just gonna go up sort of two numbers at a time so um like 22 16 24 16 26 16 
Okay, so 14, 38, 16, 32, 16, 34, 16, 36, 16, 36, 16, 38, 16. Okay, so 14, 38, 16. Okay, so the tolerance of this lock, I can be close enough. The last number's spot on, but I went um, 14, 38, 16, and it still worked. <laughs> um, notice that I didn't add 5 on to that first number that I found. I could have, and it probably would still work, but it's just that with this lock, uh, uh, with master locks you do, but I didn't know whether you did should in this lock. So if I tried, if I added 5 on to 14 and I went to 19 instead, let's see if that will work. 19. Because that would have been my next try if it didn't work. 19 and I went to, I went to 38. 16. And it, and it doesn't work. So lucky I didn't add five onto it. It's crazy. I, th I would have thought it would have worked. Um, so hang on, let's go to 19. Past 19 to, let's go to their number. Let's go to 39 instead of 38. And then back to 16. No, it doesn't open, so it looks as though 19 is one number too much. The 18 is right, must be right on the edge, where 14 to, 14 to 18 works, because there's the tolerance of this lock. Obviously, uh, four numbers work, but um, yep, adding five onto it doesn't work with this lock, because it's not a master lock. Thanks.